Good morning and good afternoon, everyone. And uh, welcome back to our Saturday station, uh, students of SD Asia Kota Malang, Indonesia, students of Ramakya School, Dadri, India, Titiksta Public, students of Titiksta Public School, India, uh, students of SK St. Patrick, Malaysia, and uh, our guest, if uh, she is here, uh, the Chongqing Junior High School, New Taipei City, Taiwan. And also, this program supported by students of English Department, University of Manadia, Malang. Well, without any longer, uh, let's have, uh, let's give an opportunity to our students to share information about uh, rap deal. Okay, let's have uh, SD Aisyah Kota Malang to present. Thank you, ma'am. Elsa, are you there, Elsa? Elsa, are you there? Elsa, unmute your microphone. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, start, start it, Elsa. Hello, my name is Dila. I want to tell about the common house Kiko. This Kiko is native to South and Southeast Asia. This is also known as the Asian house Kiko. Sorry, sorry, uh, sorry ma'am. It will be stopped no, uh, by Belfa. All right. All right. <laughs> Are you, are you there, Delfa? Yes. Okay, stop it. International Conversion Club. Topic, the beauty of reptiles, Komodo and Gecko. Presents by students of, from Malang, Indonesia. So, Komodo dragon is a reptile belong to the family of Day. There are at least 70 species account for this family distributed around the continents of Africa, Asia, and throughout Australia. In Indonesia, there are at least 29 species of Farinidae. Some of them are endemic animal including the Komodo dragon of various Komodonesis. The name is based on the Iceland where it was found and described for the first time. The local name of the species are Ora, Bow, Ruku or Biawa Komodo. Komodo spec one. Komodo is the longest living Arch. lizard. Arch. Komodo is the last living lizard. Two adult men Komodo dragon can reach maximum body length of 3.1 meter and the and at most weight up to 100 kilogram while adult for female female it's up to 2.4 meter and weight up to 40 kilogram over to you Iksan Thank you, Papa. Hello, my name is Isan. I will tell you about Komodo spec. Komodo's ears play an important role by keeping balance during. However, Komodo release more on its olfactory sense. For Komodo has four legs 
with five finger have to grip prefix names and in the case of juveniles to climb trees. Over to you, Talia. Okay, thank you, Ihsan. Hello, my name is Talia. I will tell you about gecko. Gecko any more than 1,000 species of lizard making up six families of the suburban gecko Geckos are mostly small, usually nocturnal, reptiles with a soft skin. They also possess a short toed body, a left head, and typical will the flop limbs. Over to you, Dila. Name is Dila. Hello, my name is Dila. I want to tell about the common house gecko. This gecko is native to South and Southeast Asia. It is also known as the Asian house gecko, Pacific house gecko, wild gecko, ha wild gecko house lizard, Toyota or moon lizard. Most gecko are no nocturnal heating during the day and foraging for insects at night. They can be seen climbing walls of house and other buildings in search of insects attracted to bird likes and, uh, and are immediately re recognizable by their characteristic chirping. I prefer cat the reptile as pet. House cat because cat is so cute. Thank, Thank you. you, Diva. Over to you, Roya. Roya. Yes. Keko, ha Keko ha Hello, my name is Roya. I will tell you about Keko habitat. Keko are found on every coni continent except Antarctica and live in almost every habitat, including rainforest, desert, and mountains. Kulun, are you there? Kulun, are you there? Okay, Roya, you can read this one. The, ma the majority of gecko are nocturnal. This means they are awake at night and sleep that during the day. Okay, thank you, student. And this is uh, driving by the student. This by Charya. Wonderful. Okay, we are from Taiwan. And this is by Roya. This is by Hello. Roya. Hello, everyone. Yes. Hello, teacher. Hi. Sorry, because our students are still very shy. So today, uh, Taluna told me I will be the presenter. Okay, no problem. But, but I bring two students. Come here. One is Yi Ching Chen and the other is Huang. They are very shy, but I bring them to just watch your student and every country's present. Maybe next time they will try their best. All so, right. Yeah. yeah, so I will be the Taiwan presenter. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> also, okay. Can, can I share my PowerPoint? Yeah, yeah. Uh, after, after this, all right. So okay, let's, okay, sorry. Let's finish the presentation okay. first and then we'll go to you. Okay, I will be the next, right? All right. Thank you, ma'am. And is, is, is that, is that uh, by Isan. Oh, wow. He's drawing. Isan is so talented. Hero. And this is from Delfa. Yeah. And thank you. Great, great. Very nice. Very oh, wonderful. 
Thank you, Mel. Thank you. Thank you so wow, much. Wow, wonderful sharing. Very beautiful. Our students are going to show you the, uh, their best painting uh, regarding reptile. You just give the topic to them. They are going to make. Just give topic to them. I think those who are present from TPS, they are going to draw. All right. Just give task to them. Okay. Right. So, okay, yeah. teacher, teacher Fur from Taiwan. Yeah, no. yeah. Yeah, and thank you. You, you remember my first name <laughs> because Chen Hui Yu is hard to pronounce. Okay, yeah. I will uh, share my PowerPoint. And uh, right. my students are watching. Uh, can you see my PowerPoint? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let me share. Because Taluna just told me, okay, you have to prepare Taiwan snakes. And don't say anything. <laughs> okay, welcome to International Com Conversation Club. It's my pleasure and uh, my first time to bring my students to get together and let's speak English and uh, join our club. Okay, I'm Chongqing Junior High School, New Taipei City, Taiwan, and I'm English teacher. I teach uh, grade seven to nine graders. But uh, because English is not our official language, so our students' English are still learning and not very so quite well. And today I would like to uh, introduce the beauty of snakes and also uh, in, in pandemic species, uh, especially in Taiwan. Let's enjoy it. Okay, really cool reptiles, endemic species of Taiwan snakes. And uh, where do snakes live? We can see many snakes live on land and some snakes live in or near bodies of water. Snakes can live where it is cold all year long. Snakes that live in places with cold winters hibernate. But on the, on the other hand, snakes that live where it is warm all year do not hibernate. So if it is warm, they can stay warm. How do snakes grow? A snake's skin does not grow with the snakes, just like we have to change our clothes. As a snake grows, its skin stretches and splits, showing new skin and the scales beneath. The snake sheds its old skin and leave it behind, just like we change a new clothes because we grow up, grow taller. Most snakes lay eggs just like this. This is his little babies. Other snakes carry their eggs in their bodies. The eggs hatch in their bodies and their baby snakes come out. Wow, little snakes. So what do snakes hunt and how? Oh, this is his turn. Okay, all snakes eat other animals. Snakes use their tongues to find their prey, just like little rabbits. They stick out their tongues to taste the air. When snakes find their prey, wow, some just bite and hold it. So it looks so scary. That's why snakes look like so scary and uh, everyone will scare it. They may bite with their fans or hold their prey in their jaws. Okay, that's, let me ask you one question. Do snakes have ears? Do you think no. the snakes? No. no. Oh, okay, no. you you just answer 50%. Yeah. Some have ears, some don't have. So how do they hear like humans? They, they don't really have snake, but they have holes. However, they can feel some sec sounds through special parts of their head. They, the, the, mm. the air will, you know, they will shake so they can feel. But one thing snakes doesn't have is they don't have eyelids. <laughs> okay, how do you think of them? Do you still scare? Some snakes came around prey and squeeze until it's dead. Some snakes have strong vena that they inject into prey through a bite. The venom may slow, stop, or even kill the other animal. You know, this is venom. Most snakes cannot chew, 
So they not chewing. Yun, yun, yun. Instead, they swallow their meal whole. Just swallow. You can see that. Wow. It can also eat other reptiles, or it can. You know, we just read on the storybook. It can swallow any other animals. Some snake jaws open so wide, they can eat swallow prey larger than their head. Okay, let me ask you one question: A snake's meal, how long can they last? You have to, kids, you have to eat three meals a day. So, how long can snakes after he he swallow one prey? How long? Just guess. Um, um, ten days. Twenty. Ten. Yes, almost. Two weeks, or fourteen days to twenty days is also some. It bigger large, maybe than last one month. Okay, great, good job. And all things about snakes that I want to make conclusion. Think pair share with your uh, friends or your classmates. Now you know more about snakes, and、uh, what do you think of them? Do you think it's just like a evil, or do you still start to love it? Do you like it or not? Just share. And what is really cool for snakes is jaws, venom, or it can last for a long time. Don't eat meals. <laughs> Tell your friends three cool things. Okay, oh, that's wrong spelling about snakes. And the teachers, educators, you can also use writing and speaking. Recording on、um, flagrant, pedally, waggly sway. I think it can last him for long. For example, all we know about snakes, you can choose writing, choose an opinion about snakes, or write a paragraph just for your、uh, little composition. Use、uh, two details, and、uh, science. Choose another animal to do compare, just like a Venn chart, or think three ways. They are like. Or different ways they don't like, different from other animals. Okay, that's just my、uh, suggestion that you can use and tell your students this.、Uh, you can use these vocabularies and、uh, to write down or to do your speaking worksheet recording on Flickr. I think it's very great. Okay, let's talk about our Taiwan snakes, and、uh, it's very、uh, only found in Taiwan. It's blunt-headed. Just like Dum Dum, and、uh, endemic to Taiwan, the snake was discovered、uh, by two students, John Wei Yu and Simi Lin, and other from Department of Life Sciences, National Taiwan Normal University, Taiwan, and、uh, published the species on March fifteenth, two thousand fifteen. And another very beautiful, we call that.、Uh, Taipei belly chain snake or just a golden snake. It's very beautiful, right? And、uh, some people、yeah. will just draw a painting, and、uh, and also draw that as、uh, stamps or draw painting pictures books. Golden silk snake, or、uh, also known as Taipei belly chain snake. Okay, you can see that their belly has different colors, and they like to. They're very tender. And、uh, they don't have ve any venus to hurt people. So、uh, another very beautiful、um, story, romantic stories, is about white snake stories. And、uh, it's about the、uh, she is a white snake, have five hundred years old, and、uh, she love a human、uh, man. And they also born a little human boy. But after Ah,、uh, ten years ago, there is a monk. He has the、uh, magic, and、uh, he want to kill this white snake. Traditional and the、uh, church, church, tragic and romantic story in Taiwan, and we also have some dramas. And、uh, she has a little, you know, she has a little girl just like a a green snake. She's a company. And、uh, every year in lunar calendar, Dragon Boat Festivals is another story, but we combine together. Okay, maybe next time if you want to enjoy Taiwan love story about white snakes, you can find me. Thank you. Wonderful, Very wonderful. Nice. Thank you, ma'am.
for a great information. Even white snake legend is also popular here in Indonesia. Really, really, very, very popular. The the sand snake, white snake. Yeah, white snake legend, right? Oh, very yeah. popular. Yeah, and uh, his son, her son, also yes. have a name. Uh, this oh. is Taiwanese drama, and uh, always played again and again. And uh, every woman, every they sing this drama, they will all tears. They will remind their sons and their families. All right. Thank okay. you for sharing, Teacher Fur, and I Thank hope you. that next time I your talk. student will present. And uh, yeah, I think this. Uh, the purpose of this uh, conversation club is to uh, boost students' uh, confidence because our students also are still learning because English is not an official language in Indonesia. So we try hard to learn because we are now in uh, like uh, borderless classroom. So English is very important yeah. to yeah. The it's same the to my uh, student because English is not official language. So students just uh, prepare for the test. They don't right. quite very often use it and the speaking are not very fluently. But uh, after I joined COHES, uh, you know, the global classroom, I encouraged some students to join and they mm -hmm. will have confidence. But the, some right. don't, maybe they can get a good grades on English yeah. tests but they don't want to speak English. Oh. So maybe we mm -hmm. just encourage and practice more. And uh, maybe two students on me, they joined today. They cannot speak English very well, but they like to listening and enjoy. I think that's mm -hmm. the good start. And your students did very well. Good, good job. Thank and so just much. give them positive attitude and they will go Forward and the forward. Yes, that's Thank you so much. Thank you, okay, now let's have uh, SK St. Patrick from Malaysia to present about reptile. Okay. Oh, about skiing, I think, about skiing. Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you, Teacher Rifa. Hang on a minute, yeah. Uh, Hamizan, Akil, on the camera, please. Okay. okay I Good afternoon, there. teacher Rifa, teacher Taruna, yeah. teacher Fur, teacher yeah. Jyoti, and dear students as well. Good afternoon. Uh, we are from SK St. Patrick. Uh, hang on, let me share the screen. Hamizan, Akil. All right, please do not off the cameras, okay? Good afternoon, teacher Ulifa, dear educators, and dear friends. I'm the moderator for our group. Thank you, teacher Ulifa, for inviting us to, to present today. Let me introduce the presenters who are Akil, Hamizan, and myself. We are from SK St. Patrick, Malaysia. We are presenting about skunk. Hi, I'm Priya from Malaysia. I'm nine years old. My hobbies are playing games and reading storybooks. I would like to answer this question. I will keep a turtle because it is safe to keep it as a pet. I can feed it with greeny vegetables. Skunk's habitat. Skunks live in forest edges, woodlands, grasslands, and desert. They typically make their home in abandoned burrows, but also live in abandoned buildings under large rocks and hollow rocks. What do skunks eat? In fact, skunks can be valuable green algae and mostly eat insects and small rodents. Testing on beetles, crickets, mice, rats, and most throughout the growing season, skunks are natural pest control heroes. Skunks can offer us another favor too. What is skunk's ability? 
Skunks are known for their ability to spray strong smelling liquid off to ward off predators. Although skunks are sometimes seen as nuisance, nuisance. Their, nuisance they are actually ben beneficial. beneficial to farmers, gardeners and landowners because they feed on a large number of agricultural and pests. Now I'm going to pass this presentation to Akil. Hi, I am Muhammad Akil Raif. I enjoy reading book during free time. How many species of skunk are there? There are 12 species of skunk, four of which you are most likely to encounter on your property. The average lifespan of striped skunk in the wild is seven years. They can live up to 10 years in human scale. I will keep a lizard pet because it can trap insects. I need to keep a few lizards to keep my house free from insects. Wonderful. Now I'm going to pass Hamizan. Hi. Presentation to Hamizan. Okay. Hi, I'm Muhammad Nur Hamizan. I enjoy watching cartoons during free time. Do skunks and take humans? Skunks will spray us as a defense mechanism. Mechanism. mechanism mechanism if they are threatened, threatened, threatened or cornered 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 will songs are not known to attack humans or animals to are large in the size in size they to pose this threat they can cause a lot of damage to homes of often borrow under dicks of porches. Desk and porches. Okay, very good, Amizan. I will keep a monitor lizard as a pet so that it can trap any snake in the garden. It is a arch, arch reptile that can be helpful in trapping to untap the snacks. Okay. Now let's watch a video about facts about skunks. Striped skunks are a part of the weasel family. They are about the size of a large house cat with a chubby body, small head, and short legs. They are black with two white stripes down their back. They are found in North America and parts of Canada and South America. Skunks are nearly blind and can only see approximately two feet in front of them. When they are born, they are completely blind, but as they grow, their eyesight develops. Skunks eat a mostly vegetarian diet, except for the occasional mouse or bird. They hibernate in their dens for only a month during the winter and then go back out to look for food. When you think about a skunk, you probably think about their stinky smell, right? Well, what you might not know is that their stinky smell is something they use to defend themselves from people or other predators. At the base of the skunk's tail, they have two scent glands. When the skunk feels threatened, it can spray the stinky smell about 15 feet to ward off the predator. The smell is very potent and can be hard to get rid of if it gets on you. So if you are outside and you see a skunk, run the other way. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing. And That's all from our team. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> you are so great. <laughs> and so cute. Thank you so much. Truly appreciate Hamizan, your effort, and also Akil's effort. Uh, I think both of you, you have improved tremendously from last week. Thank you so much, Sicharifa. Yes, yes, yes. We noticed. 
we know yes. this is in progress. Wonderful work. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Okay. Bye. <laughs> okay, now let's come to you. Uh, Titiksha, public speaking. Thank Anna you, ma'am. Yeah, we are ready, ma'am. Kalp, are you ready with your uh, sway? Auri, ma'am, today we have, uh, uh, we have prepared sway. Okay. Sway for the, uh, okay. Uh, sure, sure. Kalp is going to uh, present. Kalp, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, fine. Boy, best of luck. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Greetings to all. Please wait a minute. Yeah, screen is visible. Yes, yes, it was visible. Hmm? No, no, just share the screen once again. Okay, ma'am. Yeah, it is visible now. Yes, yes it's visible. Ma'am, can I start? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Greetings to all. My name is Kalp Singh Bis and today me and my team are going to present a sway presentation on the topic reptiles, beauty of reptiles with collaboration Asia and Indonesia. Over to Viraj. Greetings to all. I am Viraj Kumar. Please. They are found worldwide as a known species. They prefer warm tropical climate. Lizards are mainly carnivorous and their most common prey are terrestrial invertebrates, particularly insects. Although largest species such as monitor lizard can feed on larger prey including fish, frog, birds, mammal and other reptiles. Lizards have many antipredating adaptions including running, climbing, venom, camouflage, tail, Economy and flex bleeding beyond lizards, monitor lids, etc. Thank you. Over to Manal. Hi. Hi, everyone. My name is Nalsing. I study in Siksha Public School. My grade is 5. Let's discuss the body parts of a lizard. The body part of a lizard, lizard have one pair of eyes, a head, a nostril, short legs, long tail, and body and head. Next slide. Next slide. Lizard typically have rounded pterosaurs in general. Lizard have a small head, short neck, long body, four limbs, and long tail. Although some are legless, unlike snakes, most lizards have movable eyelids. Ember. Over to Ember. Thank you, Manal, for sharing the experience. Greetings on myself, and today I will be telling you the inner parts of a lizard. Like any other reptile, lizards do have a brain that is connected to the Jacobson's organ by the nerve. Jacobson's organ is a part of its olfactory system that helps it detect order particles. The stomach is a simple sac-like structure in most lizards. The small intestine is better developed in carnivorous species, whereas large intestine is more developed in hardivorous ones. 
The kidneys are paired and often been shaped organs. Like all reptiles, lizards have a three-chambered heart. Thank you. Wonderful. Yeah. Kavya, Kavya. Everybody, myself, Kavya Dutta. My topic for today is what do lizards eat? There are over 6,000 species of lizards in this world today. Now, I'm going to explain on which type of lizard eats which type of food. The Shinomorpha lizard eats caterpillars, crickets, beetles, and flies. The next slide, please. The Gothica lizard eats small reptiles, small rodents, insects, and small lizards. The Iguana lizard eats baby mice, crickets, and worms. Thank you. Over to Yati. Hello everyone. My name is Yati Jastra. So let's discuss some amazing facts about lizards. Most lizards can swim. Even they can run on water. Lizards are cold-blooded. They need to sit in the sun to raise their temperature. And you know my friends, some lizards can live for up to 50 years. Lizards can detach their tails. Isn't it amazing? The last but not the least, lizards love to eat insects. Thank you. Over to Nati. Hello everyone. Today we are talking about well, um, how to protect the lizards. Why are lizards or reptiles important for us? Reptiles are important components of the food web in most ecosystems. They fill a critical role both as predicator and Amber, read it. Amber. Amber. Okay, ma'am. Why lizards or reptiles important for us? Reptiles are important components of the food webs in most ecosystems. They fill a critical role both as predator and prey species. Reptile species can also have a useful anthropogenic role in ecosystems. In some areas, they help control the numbers of series agriculture pests by consuming rodent and insect pests. Thanks for giving attention. Hope you like our sway presentation. Thank you so much, Pal, and uh, all TPS students. Unnati, which is your uh, favorite uh, reptile? Unnati, are you able to speak? Unnati. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, ma'am, uh, the presentation is over. Hope you like it. Uh, all the students present here. Did you, uh, did you like the presentation? Thank you. Yeah, they are wonderful. So it's complete information about reptiles. Yeah, and sometimes the glitches are there, otherwise uh, students were prepared. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy oh. it. Yeah, thank oh, you so you. much, ma'am. And every student try their best to express and uh, they choose their favorite lizard. I think a lizard is the top, top one, <laughs> I think. Yes. But most of the people are afraid of lizards, house lizards. No, no wonder Taluna will tell me that uh, for you. 
to prepare snakes. <laughs> I, I, I realize why I have to prepare snakes. <laughs> and uh, the reminder can wait for that, yeah? <laughs> but but uh, just um, Indonesia and the Vietnam, they share the same story. I think maybe next time I will prepare well and let our students share different, um, you know, original People in Taiwan, they have different races, but they have different snake symbol. I think this is really interesting. The students, uh, would you like to ask anything about reptiles so they can help you? Yeah, Amber. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, please ask. Ma'am, ma I like turtles. Oh, you turtle. Great. Do you like wow. Well, I am afraid of snakes. Very nice. Is anyone like snakes? <laughs> yes. yes, it's my favorite reptile. Snakes are also. Yes, ma'am. Really? But I, oh, I want to take a picture. Ma'am, I like chameleon. Oh, wow. Wonderful. Oh. They can camouflage. They can change. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. great. Okay, now let's have Ramakia School Dadri India. Mom, to is not a reptile. Mm. Oh, not a reptile. Okay, good. Good information. Yes, Ramakia School yeah. Dadri students. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, ma'am. I'm just sharing my screen. Are you able to see the screen? Yes. yes. Yeah, screen yeah. is visible. Welcome to the Magia School Dadri, India. Our topic is snake. Over to Yash. Introduction of snake. A snake is a limbless in the reptile the venom. Involved of lizard, <coughs> all snake are carnivorous animals, and and many species produce venom, which is help to kill their noble reptile. There are cold-blooded animals, lay eggs, and have simple. They are over three thousand five hundred species of snake. Over to Parisha. Habitat of a snake. The snake are found living on land and in water, as well as in every habitat imaginable on on every continent except Antarctica. They can be found in uh, open ocean, just deserts, and in mountainous regions at. Uh, Altitudes of over 10,000 feet, 3,000 meters. Over to Aryanagar. Parts of a snake. Various parts of a snake. Snake have survival unit body. Unit body. The opening to a snake and snake track is called the vent. The vent is uh, is identity noting a large a large semicircular scale near the forester and the scale. The tail of a snake is up and and extend to and its body. Body part, part of the snake. Snake have no uh, 
Uh, I think she's lost her network. Yeah, you can read for. Read some other one first. Yeah, please read. Shreya. Okay. Okay. Then. Body parts of the snakes. Snakes have no external ear openings. Also, they do have a few internal ear structures. Snake lack eyelids. Instead, they have clear scales called spread scales to cover their eyes. Um, I would like uh, Parisha to read this slide. Okay, body of a snake. In case you were wondering, case there are so flexible snakes actually do have bones. Animals with bones are known as vertebrate snakes or vertebrates. A uh, snake's backbone is made up of many vertebrates attached to ribs. Humans have approximately thirty-three vertebrates and twenty-four ribs. I would like Abhishek to read this slide. Okay. So, hello everyone. Now let me tell you guys about jaws. So, jaws of the snakes are not fused together. That means that you know, unlike our jaws, uh, snake jaws are not connected at the back of their mouths. This this makes it uh, possible for them to eat very big meals bigger than their own heads. Um, I would like Anushka to read this slide. Okay, fangus. I would like to tell you about fangus. Fangus are sharp, long, hollow, or grooved teeth that are connected to a small sac in the snake's head behind its eyes. These sacs produce a poisonous liquid called venom. When a snake bites, venom is released and it starts to work immediately to kill or paralyze the prey. These are the body parts of the snakes. Over to Akshat. Okay. Species of snakes. There are 3,400 species of snakes which are known as in the world. Brazil has most species of snakes in the world with around 375 species. The most poisonous snakes are found in Southeast Asia and Australia, like brown snakes, copperheads, death, other uh, tiger snake, and typhon, typhon snake. The poison of snake cobra has the ability to kill an elephant, and it is the world's longest poisonous snake. A snake is a carnivorous creature, which means it eats rats rodents, mice, birds, etc. Anaconda, anacondas and pythons are the two species which can live up to once one year once they take their food. Snakes are not able to chew or bite their food. They swallow swallow it, it directly. Snakes kill almost 40,000 people annually around the world. However, they are, there are only 30 species which could kill human beings. Snake Island in Brazil has five to ten snakes per square meter, and it has been declared as no human zone. Some species of snakes lay eggs, while others give birth directly to their babies that have to feed themselves by their own. Thank you. Over to Apur. Interesting facts about snakes. There are 3,686 species of snakes. Snakes are a global and diverse animal species. Snakes are ectotherms. They are carnivorous. Snakes can slither 12.5 miles per hour. Snakes hibernate. They can drink water without lips. They can survive for months without eating. Snakes have teeth and pants front and rear. Over to Hoshal. Okay. Hello everyone, this is me, Hoshal Rajput from the School Dadu, India. So today I'm going to tell you about the importance of snakes. 
These long leafless reptiles play an important role in the environment and food web. Insecting hunters and abyss predators make use their highly developed sense of sight, taste, hearing, and touch to locate, recognize, and track their prey. Thank you. Over to Chahat. Yes, now this advantage of snakes. Can you change the slide? Yes, yes. So here are some disadvantages. One reason that snakes are so dangerous is that many species have venom that often kill in a matter of minutes. According to the World Health Organization, WHO, 6,000 species of snakes are venomous. Over to Lakshit. I think Lakshit is not here. Okay, so let me read the slide. Harmless snakes, snakes, philotomans, sev. I can share your voice better. Is it clear now? Yeah, yeah. Okay, which is completely known venomous and absolutely harmless to humans in fact it does not even possess venom and utilize a small sharp solid teeth to catch hold and subdue to prey over to abhishek um, okay but the slide is not there wait a second Okay, so hold on everyone, it's me Abhishek. I'm from definitely from India. So now let me tell you some uh, things about the harmful snakes. So in this world, as we are having two kinds of humans, the first are the good ones and the second are the evil ones. So as there is in the snakes, some are the good, but some are very, very dangerous, which can even kill a human in a single second. So, uh, let us go to the second slide. Here are some of the names of those species which are dangerous. There are them, more than are there, but I couldn't uh, name all of them. So, there are some of them. So, let me tell you about them. So, what is King Cobra? Then Russell Sniper. It is uh, Carinatus, then Tiger Snake. Eastern brown snake, black mamba, and uh, Doboya uh, siamensis. Over to Anshika. Okay, snake enemies. It's hard to believe, but the snakes have many enemies large birds, wild goras, mangroves, succulents, foxes, coyotes, and even other snakes are a few of the dangerous snakes called Betu. Over to Anushka. Okay, thank you, Shreya. Actually, you're sliding to the TV. I think it is a network issue. Okay. Why, what does a snake symbolize? Snakes represent fertility or a creative life force. As a snake shed their skin so slowly, they are symbols of rebirth, transformation, immorality, and healing. The Orbis is a symbol of eternity and continual renewal of life. Snakes also symbolize the umbilical cord joining all humans to Mother Earth. The great goddess often had snakes as her familiar, sometimes swinging around her staff, as in ancient food 
and they were worshipped as guardians of mysteries of birth and regeneration. Over to Arvind. Hello everyone, I am Arvind Singh Johan from Amarga School, Delhi, India. How snake makes sound? Snakes lack walk notes, uh, so can merely hiss. Some snakes can make sounds by shaking their tails. Red snakes, uh, by the special structure, click against each uh, other to make to make a rattling noise. But other snakes simply uh, vibrate their tails uh, and whether ever uh, this rise in nearly to make a rustling, rolling sound than to so listen. Uh, so, you have learned all about snakes, but one of the is left. There are three types of snakes that science has missed in its information about snakes. But I know about them. Can you guess any of them? Can any one of you guess any of them? Repeat the question what you have asked. I'm asking that uh, you have learned all about snakes, but uh, there are three types of snakes that science has missed in its information about snakes. But I know about them. Do you know about them? Can you guess? White, white snake legend. <laughs> in my mind, uh, white what? snake legend. No. Yeah. <laughs> we have to tell you in India, snakes are worshipped. Guri uh, ma'am? Yes. Are you there? Yes. In India, uh, in India, we worship snakes. Yes, that's cobra, especially cobra, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so the answer. answer. Next to the answer is snake cartoon. There is a cartoon in India. <laughs> <laughs> the second is snake games. There are two types of main snake games in India. That's uh, science. Snake and ladder. Are... Right, right. You are right. So, yes, snake and ladder. And snake and ladder. Your the 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 you win, you win. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice. Wonderful. So that's all was us. Thank you Thank so you. much. Oh. I want to ask some question to Uri, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, can yes. you tell us about what is uh, which snake is the biggest snake in uh, India? The big, biggest snake in India is King Cobra. Yes, you are right. Excuse me, excuse me, ma'am. Uh, yes. Snake and ladders were invented in India. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's a game. <laughs> it's a game. Uh, ma'am, I want yes. to share one experience. There is so much uh, games uh, uh, on uh, snakes. When the there. lizards are in danger, they put their tail in front. So uh, whenever oh. the tail cuts off the lizard, they grew into one new lizard. Yes. I have seen many lizards in my house without tails. Yes, yes. Uh, you know that yeah, uh, it's okay. also one of the event mechanism from lizard and also from yes. house keiko. Uh, house black mamba. Black mamba. Black, black mamba. Black mamba is also a snake. Yes. Okay. Let me That's show you my mamba. collection about yeah, reptile. Yeah, we are waiting for that. Can you see um, um, the screen? It's so, is this yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, ma we can, we can see. see. I, this is, um, this is not venomous uh, snake. This is a house snake. Yeah. Uh, actually, it's a tree snake. And I think this typical of head show that it is not, not venomous because the head is oval. If the head is uh, triangle, that's venomous. And venom is also known uh, 
from its head and also its color. Straight from the non venomous uh, snake too. Okay. Um, so if you are afraid, you 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 must uh, found the right information about the snake, right? So don't don't do harmful to them. This time, some of my collection, I took I took the photos from my backyard. They, they are not phenomenal. This one is cobra. It's the local cobra. And so let me show you. This one is very venomous. And one day, uh, farmers around my house uh, saw this snake, and they they want to kill it. Uh, once they come back to their home and found a uh, stick, and I talked to uh, yeah, I talked to the snake. I hey, snake, go away before somebody hit you, and then it moves to other place. And yeah, yeah. I also found a king cobra at my home. Yes, this is this big. So she's standing. I, I zoom. I took zoom. So I I didn't I didn't. Uh, to closer. It's also it's not venomous. It's a uh, chameleon. Chameleon is the uh, cute good in uh, camouflage. In a threatened situation, they will uh, open their mouth like this and also change their color. Previously, it was green. But in threatened situation, so it is a baby of skin. Baby, once it hatches, it's just like no, no, no food. It's the old, old skin. As uh, previously, you said that uh, their skin cannot is not flexible, so they must leave their old skin, and they grow bigger. It's the, it's the old, old skin. About five days ago, I bought the skin of a snake, and I picked it up. It was like like a paper. It could be easily cleared up. Yes, it's the white. So it's an amphibian. It's the frog. Okay. They are frogs. The skin. The baby. So. When they so you put it gently on your hand and they will not bite you. It's just for photography. It's a tree frog. Tree frog, they uh, perch on the tree. So they it's also snake. A frog. Teacher, you are So I think you can catch the moment too where snake catch the uh, frog. So they, they are praying. So just observe closely to your environment. And once I came to the uh, reptile lover and I I borrowed I borrowed their iguana to take a photo with me. It's a very is it you? yes. It's, it's also uh, uh, python. Oh. It's python. Wow. wow. Oh, oh, how many years ago? Uh, it was <laughs> in 2018. Really? Yes. You, it's you in look, the tree. You look much prettier now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the younger young. now. When I was. No, no, it's not venomous. Okay. I'm not. Uh, we call this. Uh, it's all skin. See, uh, green snake cats catches house gecko. Just the moment I found. I found the moment. Is this so, green snake venom? Yes, it's no, 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 no. I think it's not. This one is not venomous. The venomous one, the venomous one, green snake with red 
tail, red tail. Oh, red tail. Okay. Yeah, red tail. So there are some species of green snake. So this is the eggs of chameleon. See, the baby will come out almost hatched. So this is the appearance of uh, eggs of chameleon. And the, the shell is so flexible. It's like rubber. Is it egg? Yes, it is egg. See, this is finally the long. It's very finally long. the baby came out. Are you listening? Yadi, just check this thing. See, this is egg. Yes, ma'am. Egg, yeah. and then once the baby came out, I move it into a small container. <laughs> so you you can see the baby and egg. You are the lover of insects and reptiles. Yes. So this is, see, this is the baby and then there is a, an end, there was an end. They bite or not? No, it's not biting. It's also still a baby. Okay. I have up because of that, they so, bite that time. No, no. So, um, snake will bite only when they are hungry. Yeah. They give water. It's the snail egg. Uh, snail. Snail snake. Because uh, this snake eat snail. It's, and this is not venomous. It's not venomous. So you can take some photos of the reptile. Teacher, how do and you get I took this snake. Like, uh, if you found any snake at your home, so how do you get to know that you know, this is venomous or not? I read the literature, the uh, description of uh, whether the snake is venomous or not, and I also watched the National Geographic info whether uh, the snake or the reptile is venomous or not. Otherwise, I will not do it. Um, teacher, so. actually, if I found something on anything like this just believe it believe in expert because they experience it okay another thing that i want to show you is uh, the story about lizard okay here they are and teacher uh, yuri they have the kahoot also Okay, okay, just a second. Here, it's the day of lizard. How's Keiko actually? Okay. So if you observe closely to your environment, you will find something, something interesting. Okay, thank you so much for listening and for watching. And we will play the food. Okay, thank you. Thank you, teacher Yuri. They are good. very impressive. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sharing my phone. Shreya, when you are going to play the cloud, um, go in settings and you can allow the nickname generator because uh, else the name are already known. It will be surprised uh, on the later board at last. That okay, let me try. You can, you, can share, yeah. you can share on the chat box the link about the Kahoot so everyone it's easier to yeah. click the link. Are okay. you sending the link? Um, give me a moment, I'll send you guys. Last time I was at the last because I could not see the questions. 
uh, yeah, while you playing Kahoot, the screen must be two. Oh. You you go to the Zoom oh. and then you go to Kahoot screen. Yeah. There is one option as I think that we could also allow users to uh, just have one screen for Kahoot. Uh, maybe Shreya, you can share your Kahoot. Yeah, because uh, last time I was, I told you, telling you, okay, I was at the last because questions were not in front of me and I um, was not able to raise it. Link in the chat. Please you guys share the link. I'll share the link. Otherwise, in the just so you can share sharing the screen. Okay, I'm okay. sharing. Prayer, okay. uh, start from starting. Please open your screen, then go to Kahoot. Do not automatically start because I will tell you how to uh, get the settings right. She left. She left. I am here. Uh, what is the uh, number? Just please, sir. Number, number, game pin, please, repeat. Uh, just uh, a second. Uh, I'm just screen. sharing. I was, uh, there was a network issue. Yeah, yeah just uh, repeat. Game pin. Um. It's just a second because uh, she has to share the screen. So, come uh, on. Please share the game pin. Uh, please repeat the pin. Yeah, go to the car now. Yeah. Go to the game options in the downwards. Game options. Then, yes. Uh, yes, you have done all the things. Now, you guys could uh, do not need two screens. Just go to Kahoot, there will be questions and the options, both. Okay, no need to come to the Zoom back again. Just go to Kahoot, you will be able to see questions and answers. So the game pin is about to come. So the game uh, pin is 699-6734. Slowly, uh, 6? 6. 699-6734. Yeah. Six seven three four. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Abhishek, please uh, repeat the game. Okay. Six nine nine. Six seven three four. Six nine nine. Six seven. Oh, I can't nine, background. Thank you, You're welcome. So everybody, uh, there is the nickname generator. You won't be able to write your real names because else it would be automatically seen from uh, first questions only that is leading. There will be surprise at the end that who is first, who is second, who is third, and who are the runner, runner ups, fourth and fifth. So there are 12 participants and I'm seeing 29 uh, participants over there. Except me and um, Anushka and Shreya, three parts, and let it go. We need around 26 participants. If you should wanted to join, teachers could also join. No issues. This quiz is for everybody. See, uh, in the background, there is like a guns written this is an anime on snakes cartoon mm -hmm. excuse me please repeat the uh, game pin game pin is six double nine six seven three four six double nine six seven three four okay shake wait a while we are joining. Okay. <laughs> Have you shared the questions? Um, no. Actually, okay. uh, this time you do not need to come to the Zoom. Just uh, remain on the couch. You will be getting 
questions and the options there only. We are just waiting for all the participants to join. Great. I like the name. We're just clever that. So, 21 participants are there. 21, sorry. If you all have joined, please let me know. Please give a thumbs up, a virtual thumbs up. Great. So there are 23 participants. Teachers, have you joined? Teachers and students. I hope you all have joined. So I think we should start the quiz. Are you sure if you are here? Okay. So I think we should begin. So Okay, the first question. Let's see who would be the winner. First question. Snakes are carnivorous, omnivorous, herbivorous, and scavengers. Let's see who moves the best. So, four seconds left. Three, two, one. So, correct answer was carnivores. Most of you were correct. Great. Who said herbivores? Uh, so, mountain ant is leading. Then followed by a penguin and bolt. Oh, nice name. So, let it be a secret to the ant. Don't tell the names. Okay, so let's move to the next question. True or false? Can snakes swim? Is it true or false? Let me give you a picture. Take the picture. Like and really quick. True. Snakes can swim. So let's have a, a look at that book. So, a double penguin is leading for a and daring hamster. Okay, next question, please. This is the third question. Which of these places have deer or snakes? I think the show public school uh, have been this in their square presentation. So, the correct answer is Antarctica. Still, I think uh, nine were wrong. I think you do not hear the presentation deeply. I suggest you that you should hear all the words clearly and you should understand them. I learned what we are saying or other schools are saying. Okay, so let's have a look at the scoreboard. So, bold horse is leading. And Amiable Ferret is on fire, leading on second position. Let's have the second question. Oh, sorry. Fourth question. This is the fourth question. African you guys answered African uh, error and Rosie Boa equal, but that answer was wrong. The correct answer was spotted fire. Next, let's have a look at the scoreboard again. So, both horses leading. Amiable Ferret is on fire. 
and funny line is on time. Next question, please. True or false? All snakes lay eggs. Is it true or false? I think all the presentations play this. Because some of them, uh, they give the young ones directly, not the eggs. So, 16 of you were wrong. I think you all thought that the only eggs, snakes only lay eggs, but no. They are pretty young ones, and as well as the eggs. So, let's have a look at the scoreboard again. Let's see who's leading. Um, I got a guy penguin. Scoreboard is changing after every question. This is me. Okay. Then I'm able to go. Next question, please. Next question. How does a snake smell? Through its nose, it flicks its tongue out to smell the air. It's easy one. I hope you guys could have answered correctly. It's clean. Pretty good. It's clean. 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 So, so no if you were correct, great to see that. Let's have a look at the scoreboard. Teacher Shreya, please do that. So, now Amiya Bullfarbet is leading, followed by Bull Horse and Rapid Kitten. Nice. Uh, Nikki Pins. Not bad. So, next question, please. How many times does a snake shed it? skin each year. Once a week, so two times or one time or three times in a year. To be up, time up. The correct answer was two to three times a year. So, funny enough, you were correct. Wonderfully done. Let's have a uh, look at the scoreboard again. So, Amiya Bulbar is leading, followed by Rapid Kitchen and Diligent Guana. Great. Next question, please, Teacher Shreya. How long does it take a snake to digest a large meat? Five, four, nine, and then. So the correct answer was about 10 minutes. Teacher, uh, teacher for you from Taiwan mentioned this in the presentation about two weeks. So you can have a uh, near rest. So near rest is the 10 days. So next question, please. Oh, sorry, the scoreboard, sorry, sorry. So, uh, diligent Bona is leading. Every time the scoreboard is changing, uh, I love to see that when the scoreboard is chilling, uh, it looks like boring. Now it's like competi competition is going on among teachers and students. Let's see who comes first. Next question. True or false? Boas and pythons can see in infrared vision. True or false? Fifa, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time up. So the correct answer was true. Seven of you were wrong, but no worries. 
let's have a look at the leaderboard again. So, uh, still Jelidin Guana is leading, and followed by Amiable Eric and Cute Pokemon. Okay, so next question. Don't worry, everybody, still five questions. What land can a reticulated python go up to? One foot, four feet, 12 feet, or 16 feet? Be quick, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up. Back to the boss, 16 feet, and seven of you are correct. No worries, it's still four questions. Let's have a look at the leaderboard again that it's necessary. Cow do not allow us to go to the court question that. So Jilijan Guana is leading. Oh my gosh, you know very well about he or she knows very well about the spray. Then followed by amiable forward and rapid kitchen. Okay, next question, please. This is the eleventh question. What did snake used to have before they evolved to different directions? Legs, eyebrows, ears, a top head. The answer was legs. Most of you thought that the answer is top hat, but no, you were incorrect. Better luck next time. Still three, um, four questions. Jillian Guan is leading. What are you guys doing? Be quick and uh, correct. Then you guys could come at the uh, scoreboard and give a competition to Jillian Guan. So let's have a next question. Largest snake in the world. Easy one. King Cobra, Pfizer, Rosie Bar, King, and a contact. This one. You know, when you are not a you can look for Cobra. Oh, uh, so the next answer was green and a contact. King Cobra is big, but no, no. it is um, small but compared to Prince and a Ponda. Let's have the next question. Diligent <laughs> <laughs> Guana is leading. Guys, be quick. And you guys, the excited shark. What a name. I like the name. Next question, please. Smallest snake in the world is Barbados, a thread snake, or copper thread, and a conta, a black thread snake. Ten seconds on. Now, seven, six, five, four, two, one, time up. Collect on the ball in the first one. Nine of you were correct. Um, I'm happy to see that. So let's have a look at the leaderboard again. Teledin Guana is leading. I think he or she would win the game. Guys, if you wanted to win this, you need to be quick and correct. Then you guys could earn more points. So let's have the next question. True or false? Snakes like to be alone. True or false? Are they friendly? They like to live in cities. They friends or they like to live alone. It's true. They like to live alone. But not like humans, they like to live with friends, high friends like this, chatting and having party with those. So let's 
have a look at the leaderboard again. So, Silly Dinguana is leading. He or she is getting all the answers right. Excited Shark is on fire. Let's see who will win the game and who will be the runner-up. This is the last question. I hope you guys could answer this correct. So this, uh, you can get the double points if you uh, could guess the answer right. It was in the starting. What is the name of this? Snake Harune. Yeah. King Cobra. So, the correct answer was a comment. Don't you have answered it correctly to get a double point. So, let's have podium over here. Let's see who won the game. Uh, 10 out of 15 is Space Wolf. Then we have 11 out of 15. Jalajin Guana. Jalajin Guana is second. Who is the first? Excited Shark. Wow. Beautiful. And we have... So, congratulations, everybody. Though who was, uh, didn't got the chance in the podium, do not worry, competition. So let's ask everybody who was excited, Shark. Who was first? Who was excited, Shark? I was excited, Shark. Viraj. <laughs> um, he is Viraj Kanwar. Great, buddy. Great. Thank you. Who was uh, Tulajin Guana? Tulajin Guana. It was oh, me. TJ. Oh, wow. I was just saying that he or she knows very well. I was thinking that Tulajin Guana could be teacher Uri. <laughs> you lost in the last question. What is the ca cartoon name? Yes, I thought it was Cobra, King Cobra, but yeah, yes. I thought. What was the card? When we were sharing the card, it was there on the screen. And who was uh, the wolf? Like, there was one name, like wolf. It was Turk. Oh, can you please uh, tell your name? I saw it in the Amber. background. Right? Oh, wow. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. So, Thank you for providing us with Kahoot. Um, Shreya, could you tell the six names who are fourth and fifth? You could go to the Kahoot, you will get to know about the fourth and fifth persons. Just seven. I was fifth. I was fifth. Uh, who? Akshat. I was excited for Akshat. Oh. Akshat was fifth, um, Chahat was fourth. Clever Lobster. Clever Lobster. Great. Great, everybody. Wonderful. Hope you like the Kahoot. If you liked it, put yeah. um, nice and nice. Yes. And if you wish that we should prepare the Kahoot again, you can write in the chat that um, you can make the Kahoot again. We have some good... Uh, uh, Yeah, I think everybody like Kahoot. And thank you so, so much for your time, Abhishek. We want Abhishek. Kahoot in next seminar also. Oh, yeah. okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, next week, we will talk about birds. Right? So I will, I will message the teacher what kind of bird you will discuss because uh, every school uh, discuss a different uh, 
children birth so we will get the new information from uh, other participants okay fine ma is there anything uh, anyone want to say something or you anyone want to ask something otherwise we'll close the session yeah it was nice presentation ma'am it was very really nice presentation by all the schools excuse me ma'am can i say something <laughs> yes sure how Ma'am, uh, me and my brother were leading, but the last question, my brother uh, was wrong, so he got eleventh place. Oh wow! That's that's <laughs> Ma'am, oh, ma as it was double points question. Oh, okay. Really? So I think uh, there was a chance for everybody to win the game. Yeah. Was double point. The more you uh, practice. The the more you will uh, okay, the the big the bigger uh, opportunity you will be in the station and the more you read you the more you have uh, many uh, many information you will get a bigger opportunity to win the game right well everybody thank you so much it's uh, almost two hours we are here I hope you enjoy the station see you next week. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.